Hi, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions, and welcome to the Polaris XL Build Project, Part 7. So to glue on the pedestal, which I decided to glue on the pedestal first, I think it would be easier to do. I'm just putting a couple pieces of uh, 2x4 underneath here, because the pedestal hangs down quite a bit. And so that should allow me to slide it in there and not touch the table. But before I do that, I've got to have this little piece too. That's got to go on there. Something like that. And these little squares here that are cut out are, remember that's where the uh, fuselage, little tabs for the fuselage go in. And we all know that the foam tag takes a while to dry and that'll give me time to move it around if I have to. So just doing that. I'm pretty sure this stuff will hold it. It's pretty strong stuff. And if we stick it on there and Press down a little bit and smear that around on there. Then pull it back off and check it. Maybe do that a few times just to make sure it tacks up good. Just to make sure, I'm going to put a little tape across here. Maybe a little more tape. Now, I'm going to get down and take a good look at this. Let's see what we got. I think it could come over this way just a little. So I'm going to move it. Make sure it's pretty perpendicular. Sometimes it just takes something else straight along to make the eyeballing easier. So I'll just put this can here. And look at the edge of that can. And maybe we'll get an idea. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty close. It's hard to put a square on it because there's hardly any square surfaces. It's all rounded and everything. But it looks pretty pretty good. It looks like it's in there pretty snug. Yeah. Okay, we're back. And we have the pedestal glued onto the main wing now, right there. So the next trick is to glue the main wing onto the body, onto the fuselage. Now we already did a test fit earlier, so I know I need to glue the bottom here first. Glue this first and then later I'll get these things in place. So, I think what I'll do is just use the last bit of my beacon foam tack to try to do it. And I hope I got enough in this little tube. I've got some more on order from Stone Blue Airlines, but I don't know when it will get here. I ordered it yesterday. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to apply what I got on here.
And that tube just has a little bit of dab left in it. I might could use for something. I don't know what. Okay. Obviously, we know which way is the upside because of the pedestal. So now what I'm going to do is try to slide it in. Emphasize try. Uh, I'm going to lift those up in the air. Lift these up in the air and try to slide it in. It's coming. so I can see what's going on in the bottom. Oh yeah. So I already see I gotta move this piece, which is on the wrong side of the... There we go. Now I'm just putting the tabs into the holes and they seem to be going right in. So that's a good sign. Now you know how foam tack is. We can probably pull this loose and reseat it. And then let it tack up a little bit. Okay. Now, I'm going to apply some glue to the sides of this. I got a little bit left, fortunately. It isn't much. So let's put a little bit on there. And a little bit over here. So the foam tack has had a minute or so to, to dry. And I'm just going to pull these out. Go ahead and put the tabs back in. And let's see. I'm going to put a roll of tape underneath the front of it here. And maybe pour a little more until the middle touches the ground. So now the front, middle, and aft are all touching. Now just put a little more weight. Put this right there to hold that down. In the front here, since it's wedged in there, I don't think it can move anyway. Alright, so that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and let that dry. Wow, it's really beginning to look like a plane. Here's what it looks like for the three contact points. You can see where I have that little sanding block under the aft part of the fuselage. And then the step is contacting in the middle. And then I have the tape roll contacting the front. So when the weight is applied, it's pushing down in all the different places along the length. So the foam tack glue came in, and I can get ready to glue these parts of the fuselage in, which I never glued before since I ran out of glue. But uh, Stone Blue Airlines finally got me the glue. Here it is right here. And it's in a bottle now instead of in the little tube that I had before. It's the same stuff but instead of being in a tube it's in a bottle. So there it is, foam tack and it's two fluid ounces. I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a line along the edge of this so I kinda know where the foam tack has to be applied. It's loose all the way up through here and uh, I know where it goes. So that ought to give me some idea anyway. Yeah, now I can kind of get an idea where it goes. Okay, gonna go ahead and apply some of the glue. 
I think I like the bottle better than the, than using the tube. Comes out a little bit easier. All right, I think these are tacky enough. Let's go ahead and put them into the slots. Got these little tabs here that are keyed, so this fits right in. That's, that's the beauty of having the kit rather than having to cut it out yourself. All right, now I'm gonna just take some tape here. Tape these down. Okay, so that'll hold it down until it dries. It's pretty tacky, so I think it's gonna stick all on its own. Okay, we'll just let that dry. Take your plate. 